Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol NIHD. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So all this here may look like a few weeks worth of time. It's actually just the past two days broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame thing as a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I did this analysis uh, a few days ago. I don't remember the exact date, but uh, the nice thing about my chart provider e-signal is whenever I put up lines, it'll remember where they are. So that's where those green lines are coming from. And the first thing I'm gonna do is actually some house cleaning here and just get rid of those green lines. Sure, they still pertain to the chart, they're just not relevant. And from a presentation standpoint, I don't wanna risk causing confusion because there's clutter with lines everywhere. So let's just try to keep this as clean as possible. So one of the newest areas of support after today was what I would call the ideal level. I mean, if you say, hey, Clay, what make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? And that would be if the price can stay up above $3.30. Now, don't get me wrong. If the price falls below $3.30, by no means am I saying the entire chart's ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price can somehow manage to stay up above that level, that would certainly be a huge sign of power going forward. Taking a step back and looking at things from a big picture point of view, that is where the purple line here comes into play, which is the famous 50 period simple moving average, keyword being moving. So as time goes by, that purple line is going to move itself higher and higher. So a very basic yet highly effective way to judge the health of the move, this right there being defined as quote unquote the move, just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. How are you gonna best visualize that? No questions asked. Again, yeah, staying above the uh, 330 mark would be great, but from the broad you know, view of things, as long as the price is above that purple line, the bulls are in 100% control of the chart. As far as levels of resistance, I'm not even gonna talk on that because in my opinion, resistance levels don't matter. What matters is just keep on doing what it's been doing. And what is that? Well, just put in higher lows because as long as higher lows continue to be built, you picture those as stair steps, everything else will take care of itself, including breaking levels of resistance. So focus on those higher bases and just sit back and let the trend do its thing. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey, Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now, and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point, and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.